Hey guys, um, I made a video a few months back, um, I gotta stop saying um, fire right. <laughs> I made a video a few months back and on the Roxio settings and for Sony Vegas settings so that you can upload your videos onto YouTube. But, um, now I've got a whole port HCP VR and I'm going to show you guys my settings and what settings I use to put up videos. So just open up um, Total Media Extreme. Um, I got a uh, I because the new what's it called? There's this new update for drivers that they did for this um, program, and it's not it just ruined the whole program. So you gotta you gotta downgrade it, and I'll, I'll put a link to the description. Um, so that it works properly, so that you can put files into Sony Vegas because the new drivers they it made the frames per second 119 instead of 60 or 59.9 whatever, and it kind of stuffed it up in Sony Vegas so it doesn't support it or something like that. It's too high for Sony Vegas, and you don't you don't need that much for YouTube. So once you update it, you got to restart your computer. And go device settings. You don't change anything here. Just leave it as default. And go format settings. And put that to um, best. And that's it. Press apply. And then um, see M2 TS TS and MP4. Recorded MP4. Um, it might say PlayStation or Xbox or whatever. Record as MP4, Xbox is MP4, and I think I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. Even if you're on a PS3, I just see I got a PS3 right here. I can move it around and then just click capture, and then yeah. And then once you've recorded whatever you got, go on to Sony Vegas um, properties go new and then this will come up choose HDV 720 by 30 whatever 29.970 frames per second um, don't change anything leaves that as 8 bit um, it should be on best it should be already like that I'll just copy these settings in audio just copy those in um, so and then that's it. Just start all new projects with these settings. Click apply, and okay. And then I got a clip here. Uh, let me look for it. Bit messy. Um, I'll just put whatever M16 vibe. I cut it into pieces. Um, just let it load. Alright. Once it's loaded, right click, go properties, unche uncheck maintain aspect radio and disable resample. Tick that. And then OK. Then pan crop. Or right click pan crop. And then see how there's little black borders on the edges? What you've got to do is that uncheck those and zoom it in a tiny bit. Like that. I got a preset already called um, that I made. Um, all port HTTP VR. And, and then you just put in whatever like that and then click the save button. And then X and then um, I need to cut this up into pieces so that it's not too long. Whatever. There. And that. Delete those. How long is that? Ten seconds. Yeah, that's good. And then, if you want to add more, it increases the render time a, f a fair bit, but um, it's good good quality. So why not add a color corrector to it and go? Um, all you got to do is change the saturation to 500 like that 500 
you don't have to but it'll make your videos look a whole lot better and if you want to add more to it so your video looks better go to color curves add it in um, drag that bit up it depends which map it is like what what the color is how dark it is you can change it to whatever you want and I'm going to change it to like that that looks good and then um, that's basically it and then rendering All right. go render file render as um, I'll save it to my desktop um, just test okay what you choose is um, oh, Sony AVC and then Ah, oh, where is it? I forgot which one. Um, I already got a preset there. I think you just just choose any. The first one. A uh, customized template. And once you choose the any, go to. Go to um, change that to AA AVC. Change that to high definition one to one to eighty by seven twenty. Um, profile main. Just copy these settings down. It's basically it. Make sure this bit rate. You can change it to high if you want better quality, but it doesn't make much difference. Just leave that to eight million. I think yeah. And now this part. Um, if if you have a good graphics card, use GPU. If you have a better c computer like a processor, then your graphics card use CPU. Uh, mine doesn't support my laptop because I don't have a computer. Doesn't support G um, GPU, so I have to use r render CPU only. And audio, let's copy those settings down. MP4. Make sure this video rendering quality is on best and just leave that. And then just save it to whatever you want, call it whatever, best, that's what I called it. Just save. And then favorite it so it's there. And then you just press render. If I, yep, render. Now it might take longer, depends if you put many effects on or how many video tracks you have. And another way you could, um, how I record my voice, I use Audacity. It's just you can just download it, search it up. Um, I'll put a link in the description um, to where you can download it from, and it records your voice like that, blah 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 blah, and then it'll play it back. You may not be able to hear it, but I don't know. And I'll I'll show you a preview after this tutorial of this um video. And yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If this helped you, um, please don't forget to like the video, comment if you need more help or anything I missed out. And subscribe if you want more or do you want to see COD or Skyrim or just tell me what you want to, um, what you want more of, please, in the comments below. And I always add more things in the description, so always remember to check that out for information on extra links to like downloads like I'm gonna put in the description to downloads of the drivers or whatever so guys thanks for watching um, again please remember to um, click that like button and yeah thanks for listening see you later guys